Hi guys, this is another late night video coming to you from my garage. I'm sure by now you've all seen the video of the Donald Trump supporter punching out a protester as he's being escorted out of the uh, arena. And that happened in Fayetteville, North Carolina, uh, Monday or Tuesday of this week, a couple of days after that event. Uh, Sheriff Moose Butler of Cumberland County, North Carolina, where this event happened, it ran to the press and announced that he was thinking about pressing charges against Donald Trump. Uh, he said he was considering pressing charges against Donald Trump for inciting a riot, and they were reviewing the video of the entire event. Now, in case you haven't guessed by now, Moose Butler is a Democrat. I know, that's shocking. Uh, when is the last time you heard a sheriff go on television and announce that they are thinking about charging somebody with the crime? We're considering charging somebody with the crime. If you're going to charge somebody, charge them. Do the investigation. If the facts warrant, charge somebody. A couple of days later, he actually, excuse me, the same day, later the same day, and I think this was Tuesday, I, my days are running together, I believe this was Tuesday yesterday, he um, posted on his Facebook page that after reviewing the tape, the charges were not warranted and he would not be pressing charges against Donald Trump. Whew, I'm sure he just breathed a sigh of relief. This was a publicity stunt trying to gin up support for Moose Butler, that's all it was, uh, trying to get some mileage out of Trump's popularity. And of course, the national press picked this up, and I'm sure international press picked this up. And it's just, you know, one more story about how Donald Trump is a criminal. You know, Donald Trump is not responsible for what people at his rallies do, okay? Anytime you get 20, 30,000 people together, you're bound to have one or two idiots in the crowd. You can pretty much count on that. I don't care what the event is. You bring 20 or 30,000 people together, you're probably going to have one or two morons in the crowd. All right, that's topic number one. Topic number two, which is a little bit more pleasant. Um, this past weekend, the ACC basketball tournament was uh, on the air locally and around the country and uh, I was pleasantly surprised and shocked I'm watching never mind there's things happening over here off camera um, I was very pleasantly surprised to see FN firearms was advertising pistols 30 second commercials for firearms on national television I don't know if I've ever seen this before. I know if you watch hunting shows or, or shooting shows, things like that, there will be firearm sponsors, usually shotguns, rifles, things like that. But during the ACC basketball tournament, several times I saw FN uh, advertise handguns during the show. And I just thought that was a very, very nice. Two thumbs up for FN firearms, uh, which are manufactured in, I believe it's Columbia, South Carolina. Anyway, guys, that was just a short news update. I just thought something had to be said about the Moose Butler situation. That was just ridiculous. In going on television, announcing that you're thinking about charging Donald Trump with inciting a riot. All right, guys, as usual, like, share, and subscribe. And I will include in the comments below, I will, uh, I, I will copy and paste the uh, comments that uh, Moose Butler had in about the deciding not to press charges against Donald Trump. Uh, and if you don't want to read the whole paragraph, uh, the reason is because there was nothing chargeable. There was nothing actionable there. Trump did not do anything. Trump did not incite riots. It, it's just becoming comical how the press and the media and even, even the uh, Republican Party itself is going after Trump. Uh, at this point, he is pretty unstoppable, and uh, I had commented earlier on somebody else's video tonight that um, regardless, win, lose, or draw, Rubio needed to drop out tonight, and he did. Thank you, Rubio. Uh, it was the only common sense thing to do. 
Uh, Kasich, I don't know what Kasich is thinking. Kasich won Ohio and now he's all excited. Uh, congratulations, John Kasich, you won Ohio. Now what? That is not enough to do anything. I mean, all you're doing is muddying the water, which is exactly what you're trying to do. All right, guys, uh, as usual, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.